Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. We are going to play some, we're playing some arena right now. Some Magic the Gathering arena. Are you familiar with arena? Have you guys played arena before? Oh, Jake, yeah, definitely send me some decks whenever you get them, whenever they're good to go. This is a deck that uh, RPG Badger has submitted, and um, as you know, RPG Badger, great friend of the stream. Uh, this deck looks crazy, dude. Ch two Chandra's Regulators. Whenever you activate the Loyalty Builder of a Chandra Planeswalker, you may pay one if you do copy it. Or you can discard a mountain to draw a card. Um, but... Do we not have Chandra Planeswalkers? This is just, just for looting. I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. You may discard a card if you draw a card. Right, Sarkhan's great. I like Sarkhan. You can only spend this mana for dragons. So, you're... There's a bunch of looting effects, right? So looting, looting, looting. Risk factor looting. Not loot, not looting, but like it goes in the graveyard, right? So um okay, looting. Discard all the cards in your hand, then draw the main cards plus one. You gain life equals the number of cards in your hand. Okay. Uh just X energy point means where X is the number of land cards in your graveyard. Okay, so it's a Cavalier Flame deck. That's what we're going for here. So we're trying to get lands into the graveyard. I like that I can't even read the bottom of Cavalier Flame there. It's like, what like, number of land cards in where? In, wh in where? Oh, your graveyard. Okay. I like the loot, huh? Angrass Marauders of a source you, would, you control will deal damage to a permanent or player. It deals double that damage to that permanent or player instead. And uh, once we get the sideboard out of the way, we can see all the 26 lands we have. Two Field of Ruin, four Evolving Wilds, four Temple of Triumph, four Sacred Foundry, four Clifftop Retreat, and then six and two of basics. Uh, sideboard is three Blood Sun, three Fry. He's got two Graft Digger's Cage in the main deck. Two Leyline of Sanctity, three Settle, two Planar Cleansing, one Bane Fire. I haven't played a ton of Standard recently, so I'm going to have to figure out um, what we do and don't need. One Flame Sweep to complement the Settles and the Planar Cleansings. Planar Cleansing I don't love because it does take out your Crucible, it takes out your Sarkhan, it takes out your Chandra's Regulator. And your Graft Digger's Cage. I'm not a huge Planar Cleansing fan. I would actually cut Planar immediately and just put Graft Digger's Cage in. If we end up needing Planar Cleansing, I think that's one thing. But what can we use to, like, get rid of Planeswalkers in the format? Um, Are we just, like... There's, like, gotta be... There's Burn Spells, right? Like, Lava Coil? Fry? Does Fry get rid of Planeswalkers too? Oh, it does. It's got to be white or blue, but most of most of the ones we care about are white or blue. Uh, we also have three cleansing though, but we have a bunch of ways to deal with deal with. Having a good time. Let's look up dragon. There's got to be some decent dragons. I kind of like Sarkhan because you can just drag it into something, right? What if we just played like two Dracu sets? Just for funsies. Is that too much? What's Glinthorn Buccaneer? Is that the Minotaur, the, this guy? That could be fine. It just is a replacement. I'll put the two. I, like, I, to be honest, I don't know what we'd be playing instead. But Angrass Marauders is a card that like we haven't tried yet. I'm definitely going to give it a shot. Four Heartwarming Redemption seems like a lot, but that's okay. I really want more cards that interact with the graveyard, if that makes sense. So I'm going to try this. Uh, what are you playing? Traditional Ranked? Yeah, that seems fine. The only thing I think for Cage is Bull of Citadel. Yeah, I can see that. I can see Cage just not being relevant. Badger's like, and away we go. And I'm like, hold on, let me change one more thing. Um, my concern is like, you might just want like things like Settle in the main deck because you really don't have anything to deal with anything. 
Like, before turn four, we have, like, no interaction. Like, if someone plays something on the board, it's just going to stick. I also like Rowdy Crew more than I like Heart. Like, I'd rather just have a, a potential 5-5. Five five. Because this doesn't actually do anything. Oh, you gains you life. That's actually pretty good. I could see just playing Binding in the sideboard. I could also see playing uh, the other one, Conclave Tribunal, but I guess we don't have that many creatures, so. Alright, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, well, knock 26 lands, we hit two lands and no red sources. Uh, yeah, we can keep this and we'll put the crucible back. I will keep six. We we're gonna put Crucy back. Like, if this is just mono red, I feel like we're in rough shape. Grim initiate. Oof. I mean, this guy's a 2 4. Pretty sizable for a 3 minutes. He's a good, he's a good deal. No attacks. I think we are going to need to do some work on this deck. Just because I feel like it's missing some key components. Like defenses. Okay, that guy's fine. This is the second time i played a deck on Arena with, with Glenhorn Buccaneer. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we just needed some removal. Like this is this is really good against us. And now if we block, like this is rough because if we want to block, but now the game is trading, so that means any creature we play just is gonna immediately die. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. It's a pretty bad. Come on, roll the dice. Yes! Oh, yes! And then we can Cleansing Nova next turn? That's gas. How many lands we got in this graveyard? Two? Alright. Sack my two guys. Do you want to sack these two, though? That seems bad. This guy have trample? He does have trample. Very aggressive. Okay. I believe you, jumping on. I like that arena is not like which creature would you like to sacrifice. They're just like, all right, we'll just get rid of this guy. Oh man, this cleansing nova is gonna be bonkers. See you later, boys. Remember the band Tesla? I actually don't.
I'm actually gonna hold this because we have Neheb and we can discard it. End turn. Do you remember the Alamo? I remember Peewee's Big Adventure, which referenced the Alamo. Okay, one down. Is it double double lightning strike? No blocks. This is a <laughs> That was interesting. We got two lands in the graveyard. Discard any number of cards and draw that many cards. I'll just neheb here. I wrote a paper on it for college. Get entered in, the, in a contest because it was good. Get entered in a contest because it was good. Got him. Boop and boop. Oh yeah, give me that red man of mud, dude. I kind of want to just heartworm redemption, right? Draw this kind of then draw that many cards plus one. We draw five and gain five. What do we have? One, two, three, four, five. We have seven total mana right now. Seems good. All right. Eventually, you're just going to let me draw 50 cards. Now I have to draw the cards. Whoop, whoop, whoop. My man. We're doing it. Bantu. No block. Another land, huh? Well, can't get through this guy. This is a problem. So once they play like a bigger guy, you're just like, oh, well, I can't really deal with that. I will actually keep that. Let's go into voice. Discard Sacred Foundry. What's going on here? I gotta play my favorite game. Which window did I put Frank in? I had to mute you to take care of a customer and I have too many windows. <laughs> if you use Chrome, I use Firefox as my default browser. If you use Chrome though, like it has, I don't know if Firefox does it, but it has the little volume icon in the upper right so you know like which window it's coming from. How many lands are in our graveyard right now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, it looks like nine. Wow, that's 
That's rude. Long hair, don't care. I mean, we have enough mana to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We can go land. Uh, we can go Cavalier Flame, then Heartwarming Redemption, right? So we gain like a billion. One, two, three, four. One, two. This is actually hard to see. Like, this flame effect is great, but it's kind of hard to look at. I want to make sure we don't deck ourselves. 20 cards left? Sure. Oh, no, this costs four, not two. Dang it, I'm an idiot. For some reason, I thought it cost two, because last time it only cost two mana, because we had four in the pool. So, that was my mistake. Oh, the... It gives itself haste. Oh, it gives them... It gives it haste. Oh, now we're probably just dead. They're just gonna kill us. That's sad. I think we won this game. I just didn't... I just... I actually didn't know the haste ability. I thought it was just a pump, plus one, plus oh. I like that it fans out the lands over here, but it doesn't actually say, like, the number. Block here, take five, six, seven. Trigger on the stack, they kill us, right? They have lightning strike. No, they're. Yeah, they kind of. Yeah, this is. I guess there wouldn't even be a trigger on the stack because. Ugh, this is so bad. Ugh. We're at three, not two, which is relevant, but. If they have Shock or Lightning Strike, which they have shown us, I just threw this fucking game away. It's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. You just have to read the cards more. That's all. Just read the card. Just read the card. Yeah, like, this thing is like, wait, hold on. Uh, okay, it's just, there's, t I don't actually know how to read it. It looks like there's a scroll bar, but, like, there's, oh, I guess you can scroll up and down, but, like, it also moves this, so it's, like, double scrolling. <sighs> I has a sad... Imagine Cavalier on a mobile version. No, I'm good. No, I'm good, thanks. actually seems okay. Anyone got any pudding? No one has pudding, Jameson. Hot Cheeto pudding? That sounds disgusting. So, essentially, we won the first game. I'm not gonna, like... I mean, technically, we won the first game. All we had to do was give itself haste and attack. Couldn't they have blocked with the... Couldn't they have just blocked with the priest, the 1-2? Right? They don't die, right? 
It doesn't have trample. So maybe we didn't win the first game. Maybe I'm just making this up. Maybe it's all just made up. They tapped the priest too? Well, I guess we won then. God, unbelievable. We won. So we won. strategy, Cotton. Let's go Rowdy Crew. Well, that sucks. Those are two very, very good cards, and we don't get the buff. And they can just lightning strike this attack for six. That seems bad. about that. We're just going to block the Dreadhorde Butcher so it doesn't get any bigger. I guess. I'll have to block this guy because these guys are sacrificed, right? Then this guy just gets huge and we can't really deal with it, so I guess we're blocking the Butcher. your time on me you're already the voice inside my head please don't dip your cookies in sweet onion sauce I'm fucking begging you dude oh god friend why these little guys are great They can't attack with this guy. We block one. I think we're just dead here. Where's a wall of omens when you need one? My kingdom for a wall of omens. Lightning strike. I mean, even if we don't block, they can still lightning strike our guy because when they sacrifice these two elementals at the end of the turn, Mayhem Devil will still shoot them. Never didn't have it. Say hi to my fiery friends.
do 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 One, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can go Buccaneer. One, two, three, four, five. Could just draw six and have two mana left up. Cleansing Nova is nice if we could do it. I think we're dead here for sure. They pump this guy twice with 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and then they sack these two guys at the end of the turn. So, is this only once per turn? No. Yeah, we're dead. We are for sure dead. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Like,. Individually tap for his name. No. Yep, seems good. Ready to meet my flames. Okay, so three cleansing of it does seem good. I'm not. <clears throat> we just need things to deal with things. I think lava coil is fine. I think Sarkon, I think we just have a little too much discard. I don't think Regulators is great. Regulator? I like Risk Factor. I think Risk Factor should be a four of. Like, they kind of have to deal with it. I'm kind of wondering, like, what we can play in the three drop instead of this guy. What does Solar Blaze do? Is that the four mana one? I don't I don't love it. I think cleansing that was just fine. I also would like it for like something like Knight of the Ebon Blade or there's a lot of creatures that just doesn't touch. Maybe it's fine as like a one of. Oh, Deafening Clarion is good. Yeah, I like Deafening Clarion a lot. That's not how you spell that at all. I'm gonna take one crucible out because I don't think it's good in multiples. Also, Deafening Clarion misses a lot of our creatures as well. I got one cleansing Nova. Um, this could be better. I just don't like Glenhorn Buccaneer. I just don't think it does anything. What are like good red or white creatures that we can play before turn four? Hmm. 
Do you ever play anything else off stream? What does that mean? Other PC games? Um, sometimes, not really. Fallout is usually one of my go-tos. I don't even think we need Crucible, to be honest. Like, Crucible just seems like it's it's cute, but, like, we've never had, like, a land issue where I'm like, oh, no, I just don't have any land. Resplendent Angel? Resplendent Angel does seem good. If that's what you're referring to. I mean, I like that better than Buccaneer. I would actually just play four of these. Because for Discard, we still have Rowdy Crew, we still have Neheb, we still have Heartwarming Redemption, Torrenting Voice, and Risk Factor. So it's like... We still have a ton of ways to discard things. Let's try that. Let's see if that makes... Yeah, I'll keep this. I feel like Tormenting Voice makes a lot of unkeepable hands keepable. Because you're just like, oh, alright, I'll discard the shit and get something good. That's rough. Twenty-six lands, I'll risk it. Wow, I feel bad about risking it now. We still got another tormenting voice to hit a land, so. Knock yourself out. took risk factor that's fascinating what do we think they're playing let's get rid of Harwang redemption what 26 lands and we just don't hit a third land a fourth land I guess come on dude oh look the land Hi, everybody. All right, so we're just going to pass here. I just want to get plot under Palo Commander Land, then flashback plot under I have to say, I thought this was a family stream. Yeah, it was pretty dirty. Not mine ahead. It's all very strange. What is going on? Dreadhorde Butcher up. Dreadhorde Invasion. Exile this guy. I think just playing this guy is better, though. I guess we'll find out. Uh, no block. God, this is so many thought erasures. Sure. Three thought erasures. 
on the bright side, we get to discard things. Let's get rid of Evolving Wilds, and that l at least lets us play Cavalier here. Discard both of these, I think. Sure. Cleansing Nova destroying all the enchantments seems pretty good. Uh, what is this, three? So they're tapped out, so we can just take 10, attack, discard land, cleansing Nova, nearly kill them. If we hit a land here, we just kill them, right? Wait. Oh, they're... Oh, that's sad. Oh, we're not discarding anything, because this is not... Oh, God, this is really confusing. Bolus. Seems good. So how many is this? It's lethal. So they have to, if they get rid of this guy, it's just lethal, right? They just die. <laughs> okay. That's fine. Oh, it's not fine if he. Uh, this just deals damage to each opponent, right? Deals X Machine Money to put planes where they control. Yeah, so that's not even targeted, so Hexproof doesn't do anything. Hmm. Well, Cavalier Flame might go the distance, guys. They got one, two, three untapped. It's still hard to... No, good game. Cavalier Flame, bro. I was worried about Callus Dismissal. That's my. That was my concern. Take one Heartwarming for this guy. I think Marauders might be too cute and kind of unnecessary. Like, Cavalier's doing the work on its own, really. I'm going to mulligan this hand for sure. You can ship a sacred founder. Oh, I can ship a mountain, I guess. This 
Sunny D, it'll burn your throat. I will bottom this for now. risk factor here and then we can actually just hold off for cleansing nova until we played in the head see what they commit or not well That was pretty solid. Like, we can still play Cavalier, we can still plunge into it. What's our plan here? Does this guy have Death Touch? No. Zombie Tokens, you do that. Hmm. They have one card. I'm pretty sure we're just blocking, cleansing, cleansing, noving, noving. play Cavalier discard our hand draw three Probably not going to discard Cavalier number two. Was this two? This deals two damage? That's too bad. Choose up to four cards in your graveyard if you control both planes. Which one of those cards your hand? Otherwise, the opponent chooses two of them. Leave the chosen. Choose two cards to leave in the graveyard. Um, I'm going to leave Invade in the graveyard and probably Vizier in the graveyard. I don't care about Thought Scour. You can Thought Scour whatever you want here. Thought, thought, thought Erasure, whatever. And Plating is just a 1-1. One, one. This is a 1-1 one, one that has Death Touch. And this is at least a 1-1. One, one? I don't know. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Um just gonna discard the seven drop. We're gonna play this now because we know they have played in hand and they only have one mana. Thought Scrober. Oof. Well, 
we'll discard Rowdy Crew. Is this you and permanence you control? Oh, that's rough. Really? I'm just gonna pump them to eight so that it's legal to me if they kill it. Didn't even attack first. No one can stand in my way. Uh, Rowdy Crew lets us discard two cards, draw three. Want a game? I'm gonna take the Marauders out. I think we're gonna. I still like the land theme. Like the land theme is what's keeping this deck doing its thing. But the problem is you're discarding so many lands that you're rarely getting to seven, and that's fine. I don't think you really need to get to seven land, seven mana. Either way. Uh, the problem with Bantu obviously is that we're not not playing black. I almost want one more, f one more planes instead of filled our own, but I think it's fine. We have four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, eighteen sources of white, so it shouldn't usually be a problem. Let's look up two, three, and one cost white and red cards. I just want things that are going to hold down the fort while we're trying to not die. Ideally, cards that give us some value. Pro Black Knight's not bad. Yeah, Tide Tiger's not bad because it gives us two blockers, which I do like. Just looking through these cards. Actually, I would, yeah, we took out the minutes. I would take, I would put tithe. I would try tithe taker.
Um, depending on the match, this could be good. I still think it's a definite keeper. I have a feeling this is not going to survive. What does the White Cavalier do? can have my Deafening Clarion or my Lava Coil. Destroys a permanent grants of 3-3. Yeah, okay. That's not bad. Because you can destroy your own land, right? I would imagine. This is actually fantastic for us here, because our odds of hitting Lava Coil is not high enough, I guess. What are the sweepers? What sweepers can they have? Can anyone... Are they just gonna double cry here? No, they're just gonna cry in shock to get rid of one dude. Yeah, that's actually totally fine. All right, well, I feel like we're in good shape. If they go, they can go land Star of Extinction, which is pretty brutal. Heartworn Redemption is actually great with this hand, though, because it lets us discard all of these spells that do nothing. Chandra is fine, because we get to keep a... Okay, so you're dead. Okay, sweet. Alright, so Binding, Binding, Lava Coil, Lava Coil, Lava Coil. How sweet it is to be Bane Fire. Leyline of Sanctity actually seems fine here. We get to get the Deafening Clarions as well. Cleansing Nova is probably okay. This is keepable. This deck is killing it. I'm surprised. I'm gonna bottom this because we do want a fourth land here. I guess we have. I don't know if Risk Factor is considered a fourth land. Here.
angel in the trash can. They don't care about these. This does nothing, and this is a four drop. Unless they have a lightning strike. Yep, that's what I figured. Oh, all right, let's do that. Um, sure. Never thought I'd be keeping a rowdy crew on top. That's kind of funny. Enough. Oh, did they miss a land drop? Have they missed two land drops? And I have seen gas here. Discard like three cards. Draw three, add three now. Oh yeah, this game's over. Oh yeah, we're gonna be like drop, 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 drop. Four mana. We can play a rowdy crew. Now we have three lands to this card. Oh god. Oh my god, you hit the Ixlons binding out of all these lands? Come on, dude. I'll take that, because they're actually just going to have to give us lands at some point. Wow. It's five lands, one Ixalan's binding in hand. They hit the land. Sack a creature. I'll sack Rowdy Crew. That ain't even hard. That's what she said. Ooh. Ooh Rick. Um, yeah, we're just going to discard like 10 cards here. We discard everything but risk factors. Wow. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So that gives us five mana and five new cards. Wow. Risk factor. Jeez, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a land. So eight. So we can just go ley line. Tithe taker. Seems fine. All right, so we're basically 2-1, and the one we lost, we actually won a game. We just played it poorly. Claim them prizes. All right, so... I think the Angels are good. I actually think... Do I have, if I have another Rowdy Crow, I might just play it. But if I don't, I'm probably not going to craft one. Yeah, I'm not going to... Because this, like, this is literally gone, like, next week. I don't think you need four heartwarming redemptions. I, we're just, I just feel like we're discarding them to like Nehebs, and Neheb has been great. I would just add another tithe taker. I've liked I've liked Rowdy Crew because it just gives you three new cards, and you're always drawing one. I don't know. I, th I thought it was fine. Neheb seems fantastic though. What's Baking God? What even is that? Oh, Ilharg? <laughs> I mean, we don't have enough creatures to put into play. Like, if Cavalier, if it, like, sacrificed the creature, I'd be like, oh, that's not bad. 
Oh, Jesus. I like God Eternal Oketra, I just don't think we have enough creatures for it. Well, there's no potential downside. Like the, it's a it's a four mana three three that always draws you one card. You discard two cards, and you draw three. Like you're always drawing a card. Plus, it's just a fun card. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, we could probably put in through the breach and Harry and Emrakul. I wanna get physical, physical. Keep seven. Drag it. Oh, aggressive. I'm gonna lava coil that thing immediately, just so you guys know. Before it gets out of hand. Snake attack? Is that where snakes attack? Like Mystic Snake? I like this because we have no three drops, so we can actually just play Tide Taker, Evolving Wilds, Crack this dude. I'm just got planes here. Because if we do draw like Resplendent Angel, I'll just play Resplendent and keep Sacred Foundry tapped. This seems good for us. It seems like this guy's gonna resolve, so. Or not. Is there a plus three, plus three? Is that like the giant growth? I mean, if they had Giant Growth, I feel like they would also attack with Legion War Boss, but... I don't know, man. Is it plus two, plus one? Sure. I'm at six. Uh, being able to discard our whole hand to Neheb and then play Heartwarming Redemption seems pretty nuts. One, two, three, four. So we get the four mana from that. Um, geez. 
We can also play Angel Tithe Taker, then this for like two. I guess it's three. So we go to nine. But then we have a bunch of blockers in play. What is this? One, two, three, four. No, we can't. We have one, two, three. We have to play the land, too. So we'd like be losing out on this. I think we might just play this for five and then see what we hit. Then again, Angel just might win the game by itself. I think we just play Angel and then Heartwoman Redemption. Unfortunately, we only gained four life this turn. <laughs> Um, which one do we get rid of? Probably this one. I don't want any kind of shenanigans where they're like plus 10 plus 10 like I don't want some kind of infect nonsense going on here sure. and we get a little birdie I mean if we hit any land we get to Activate Resplendent Angel, which is pretty nice. Yep, that is fine. <laughs> it's, it's just another Resplendent Angel. We can actually attack with everyone. It kind of forces them to either block or take four. Like, they'll give us the cards, right? So we can discard our hand, play this with whatever we draw, and then we have five mana left over. I'm also tempted to just go Cleansing Nova into Resplendent Angel. We have four white to do it. actually I think puts us in a really good position because then like whatever land we hit we start just making angels they're gonna be at four so I feel like we're in okay shape oh wow Oh, we have to discard all three to Cleansing Nova, so that, only, that actually doesn't work as well. I'm going to discard it all. Because we're going to get three free, which means we can risk factor. And Heartwarming Redemption actually puts us in a really small Let's discard a Field of Ruin. They have to let us draw three. So now we have five cards. Oh, Cavalier is nuts, so, but like, we could just die if we play Cavalier. So I'm actually just going to Heartwarming Redemption here. Which also gets us an angel for, to block with. Which is pretty sweet. 
If we had one more mana, we could actually play the other Resplendent Angel and get two angels to block with, but... 13 with a blocker seems pretty okay, I think. I guess we'll see. I guess we will find out. Oh, uh, I did not come up with this. is actually a submission from RPG Badger, and it's actually working surprisingly well. Okay, then we're probably dead. Unless they're just digging. But we're probably dead. I feel like the right play was Cleansing Nova, but then we don't have any pressure on the board is the problem. If we were able to discard two cards and still be able to play Cleansing into Resplendent Angel, which we would have discarded, so I guess it wouldn't matter. This doesn't have... Oh, it does have Trample. So we can block here. We're taking three, four, five, six... Seven. What does this do? Pro, is this protection? No, it's indestructible, right? Yeah, okay. Four, five, six, seven. They need to do six more damage. I don't think they can do it. Wooey! These decks always frighten me because I never, like... They're decks where I, like, deliberately don't do the math. I'm not... I'm gonna be like, mm, I'm good. You just kill me if you can. And then they could not. Uh, let's take out one Tormenting Voice, one Heart, one Redemption. Bring in Settle. Fry actually seems pretty okay. I don't think Tithe Taker is actually doing that much. Fry seems much better. Deafening Clarion also kills a lot of their things. Let's do it. Yeah, Fry being an instant is really good. Come on, bring it. Wow, my stomach has been totally fine ever since taking this Pepto. That's amazing. That's incredible. The wonders of modern medicine is right. What's even happening? Come on, Super BJQS. Let's get it together. Oh, we did it. Ah, uh, snap keep. Snapples, McKeeples. Can I get Blasphemous in stores? I don't even know what Blasphemous is. And they are, uh, are they just giving up? 
I don't know what's happening right now. All right, 3-0, I guess. 3-1? 3-1, I think? That was weird. I literally don't, I, I don't, I, I can't, it's hard to make changes now because I feel like we're doing so well. Yeah, that's the thing. Like people try to time me out. I'm just like, buddy, I got in I got the whole internet here. I'll just wait. It's just so weird. It's so weird to be that malicious over like a stupid game on MTG Arena. Like, come on, really? This is what you're going to do with your time? Your efforts are not you, you don't you don't have better things to do with your time? If MTGA is life, I would imagine uh, conceding the game and going to to the next game would probably be a better use of your time, right? Keep. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, let's actually do Temple of Triumph first. Oh, we're not even on, we're not even, we're not even good to go yet. We're not even G2G. I don't even think I know what Blasphemous is, guys. No, it's not surprise. I'm not like, oh my god, I can't believe someone is, is malicious on the internet. It's not surprise. Just because people are talking about something doesn't mean they're surprised by it. I'm just saying that it's silly. And I don't understand. I, it's, it's, it's not understanding it. I'm not surprised. I expect it. That doesn't mean I understand it. Tithe taken and it feels so good. Pixel art side scroller Dark Souls like RPG? Holy shit, what a mouthful. I'm gonna get in there. I'll trade. You wanna trade? Let's trade. That's the impression that I get. <laughs> This is the child of the night. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Let's get rid of Evolving Wilds and one Sacred Foundry. Oh, I guess we just have to get rid of one thing. Ha ha. Ha ha. Rowdy crew. I'm just gonna play this tapped. And attack with both of these dudes. So next time we can Rowdy crew and this, like, we have three lands, which is fine. Did you play Bloodlines yet? You're not talking to me. You're not even talking to me. Got him. That's that's gas. If they go to duress us, we have Rowdy Crew on hand? Come on. What are you doing? Oh, well. Got me under your spell. Do I just play... I just, I, just play, I just play Cavalier now, right? Bop. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pitch them all, right? No, just the two. Oh, I didn't. No, don't finalize it when I. No, don't do that. It's 
it's like I say all the time, like, even if you're not playing against tier 1 decks, uh, it still gives you a great way to see how your deck is functioning and whether you're, like, able to cast your spells on time, whether you have defenses, like, all, there's all kinds of things you can learn from, from matches like this about the deck itself. Yeah, apparently selecting all of them, all of them will auto discard. That's that seems weird because you're not confirming anything. And if you click them in the wrong order, you're like, okay, let me click the two lands, and then I'm like, oh, I also want to discard the rowdy. But maybe I'll save one of the lands, and then it just auto discards, and you're like, oh, that's literally not what I want to do at all. Block. Two, three, four. Yeah, let's go into Heb. And clicky clacky. Such clicky clackies. Wow, Dimitri is not afraid. You caught that saves the day reference? That's super obscure, dude. That was like a B-side, man. Oh well. Got me under your spell. And I don't think that I'm kidding around. Don't think I could forget you now. Once sat up on my roof. Examine the planning of my town. That's a solid, that's a solid Saves the Day song. No fry? I mean, I'm gonna be real with you. You played a show with Saves the Day right after that? Oh, did they just... See, we can't board because they just gave up. Do we have any daily quests? Where are my quests at? That's sick. That EP was... That EP was gas. That whole... That whole acoustic EP was fantastic. I'm gonna do one more. And then we'll, uh... We'll give a... Give the deck a good look over. A good look-see. So yikes for me. I'm gonna keep it. We can just discard one of them to Tormenting Voice. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest. I'm not a big fan of Chris's voice anymore. It just seems worse. I I hate to say it. Yeah, we're just gonna lava coil and temple. And then we get to Neheb after that. Uh yeah, that's fine. We can play Neheb and then ideally Neheb's gonna get through. So I'm a big yes. Yeah, stay what you are, and uh, through being cool, through being cool is the most replayable. Is the, one of the most replayable albums from that era of music, in my opinion. Well, you got it. Always love this deck. This deck is always super fun to play against. I always feel like I'm getting. Uh, Outskilled. Uh, let's get rid of Risky Boy. I guess that's all we want to discard. I'm not really super thrilled about losing anything else.
Matt Skiba being in Blink-182 is so surreal. Like, it's so funny because, like, all these guys from, like... Um, no blocks. I'll just take that. All these guys from, like, former emo bands are... They just merge in, into super emo supergroups. That's rough. We're gonna do no attacks here. I think we're just dead. YouTube, don't get it confused. This is Magic the Gathering related content. A Richard Garfield game. A Deckmaster game by Richard Garfield. This is a trading card game. We are trading cards. With our opponent's cards. Let's just double block this idiot. Sure, you got it. Now you've done it. Cavalier's like a liability because it's Chandra. It's kind of funny. Oh, where'd your guy go? So we block, block, we take one, two, three, four, one, two, three. So any any spell that deals us damage kills us. That's the Okay, that's fine. Dang it, where's the where's the life gain spell when you need it, my dudes? Why don't you have trample? Keep it. One, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, that's rough, but I think we're dead here. 
They get two cards plus the card that's in their hand. Absolute pleasure, mono red. Oh. Let's ley line of sanctity here. Let's deafening clarion for sure. Cleansing that was a little slow. Uh, risk factor is also a little slow. I got one crew for one settle. Let's try that. Bear -der 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 -der. Wow. You know what? I'll keep this hand. Sure. We did it. We're just setting up for next turn here. Sure, this is probably where I definitely play around. I think it's just under taps. I don't really care enough about risk factoring to take two here. You should have killed me when you had the chance, Charles. One, two, three, four, five. I think I'll just play this. Six, but they can't shoot us anymore. Gain four. Three, one, two, three, four. So we're really close to. Just keep drawing them, I guess. I'm okay with it. Not a chance. 
Absolutely not a chance. Ha! One resplendent angel. Get her done. Yeah, I think we're fine. Have you guys heard the story of Darth Plagueis? I still have the Growing Pains theme stuck in my head because of your antics yesterday. You're welcome. After this, I'm going to get a snack and refill my drink, and then we'll do one more probably like cube draft. Um, oof. Is Deafening Clarion good enough here? Let's mulligan. Uh, this is better. Beautiful pitch evolving wilds. Runaway steam can never come back. Don't play this card on the track. Could have actually waited and just like, oh wow. So now we can play Leyline next turn, followed by Depthing Clarion, which seems pretty good. I have not Kiki comboed in Cube Draft yet, surprisingly enough. You don't look scared. The highest door. Audience. You should. Well, maybe I'll consider it, Jacob. Do you ever think of that? Oh, Wizard's Lightning. Seems good. My friend is here to help your pain. My friend is here. To help your pain. The problem with the problem with things like Neheb is that like the problem with creatures in general after you play Leyline is that like all your creatures have targets on their heads. But they do have to waste two spells to get through to this guy, so we'll just play Neheb. We'll play this guy. And we'll bottom that guy, sure. Oh, well, that's a good one. Oh, two monkeys. One monkey. Now I might now I might play around here. We have totally lost the art for this card. Our best people are looking for it. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I feel like five lands is where you want to be. Like, every other land is pretty much, like, discard fodder for Tormenting Voice or Risk Factor. Well, that's a yikes for me, dog.
Yeah, six lands because of Respondent Angel seems, Angel seems fine. <laughs> stop hitting yourself. Well, stop hitting yourself. Oh, speak of the devil. They obviously have a thing to kill this, but, like, whatever. Or they don't? No, they have to. Oh, it would have to be on top. Yeah, yeah, so they have to get rid of the thing in order to get rid of that. Sure, that's fine. But now they have two cards? And we're at ten? Doesn't seem terrible. Well, that's not great, but... We have a lot of cards that can really discard these things, so I'm not going to feel too badly about that. Sure. Ugh, vomit. So I guess we take five here, and then we probably did, so. That's fine. Seven exactly. How nice. Settle the wreckage. Whatever. I think we came pretty close. And uh, this deck was surprisingly fun. I had a good time. I like the number of cards we see. And there's also decisions you have to make. Like what you discard with Neheb or what you uh, discard with Cavalier. I think the Cavalier's ability was almost secondary, really. Because, like, you don't have a great way to kill the Cavalier yourself. So, and, like, there weren't a ton of lands in my graveyard. But, like, the the number of cards you can go through. I think I was more impressed with Neheb than I was with uh, with Cavalier. Because Neheb not only gives you new cards, but he also uh, gives you mana. And being able to, like, generate an extra three or four mana a turn was pretty crazy. I would even... I mean, if it wasn't legendary, I'd probably consider just run four because the guy was very, very good. Uh, Respondent Angel was a great addition. I think it's good to cut, like, Heartwarming or, like, some of the other discard cards because you just want to do things. I don't know if we actually need Cleansing Nova in the main deck. We can actually probably add another Deafening Clay around and maybe, like, maybe, like, another Neheb or something. Um, I also think the deck was sweet, though. Badger, I'm really glad you uh, you sent this over. I'm really glad we played it. Before rotation, it's gonna be it's gonna be obviously very rough after rotation because you lose. What do you lose? You get to keep this. You, get, you lose Rowdy Crew, which is fine. You get to keep Neheb. You get to keep this. Cleansing Nova is easily replaceable, as we just mentioned. You lose Resplendent Angel. Uh, Risk Factor and Clarion you keep. There's probably gonna be a Tormenting Voice uh, addition. You get Lava Coil and you get tied there. Actually, you don't lose that much. It's still. You might actually gain some stuff. I wouldn't mind revisiting this after rotation and seeing what we do and don't have still. I would even consider one more Settle the Wreckage in the sideboard. Um, and I would put one more Deafening Clarion in the main deck and cut one Cleansing Nova. And I think that's probably the list I'd stick with. But yeah, this is awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you're watching on Twitch, I'm not leaving. But if you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. This is a Magic the Gathering video, not a singing video, not a music video. So YouTube, get your shit together. Check me out on CoolStuffInc.com. I have new articles going up every Wednesday. I just wrote about uh, my initial thoughts on Throne of Eldrain. You can find that up now. And uh, you can also check out ManaTraders.com and Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. All of those links and promo codes are in the description below. So check those out and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it.